Gentlemen, welcome back to the shop. We're having a second kick at the cat on this cheap carbide from uh, beyond the sea. We are testing it on some hard ox, or rather, that's a, that's a name brand, uh, AR plate. We're gonna see how far we can get into her. I, well, it's Cunningham's law embodied. I do not know everything. Surprise, surprise. And some of the information that I was using to calculate the uh, feeds and speeds was outdated, far outdated. So we've got a different setup, what you guys recommended, air blast cooling, slow and low on the spindle, slow and low on the feed rate. We all have a pretty good idea we can call a local scumbag in the yellow schmock to come and sell us a proper cutting tool and do the job all day long. This is not that. This is a peer review of minimum viable. So much better on the vibes. Carbide being hard as woodpecker lips, it makes it very brittle. It's not very tough. Can't handle the vibes. Now uh, looking at those chips, it looks more like a carbide burr. I don't think I'm, I've gone too far the other way. I'm not aggressive enough. Hey, it would seem my spidey sense was right. For some reason I had the step over set real low. I think I messed up on the comma during the calculation. I was stepping it over 10th how. So now we've got 20% uh, of the diameter step over. Still taking the same speeds and feeds, but just not as uh, whisper. Yeah, look, look at the chips there. Those are those little speed. Look at that, I just touched it. Those are those little carbide burr spears. Here's the old one, hindsight being 2020. I, well, I suffer from a legitimate condition. Not only am I an idiot, but I'm also human. Let's uh, run this in graphics. That ought to do her. Feel pretty happy on the G's. Nothing like it was run in the last test. They were running away from the support of the fixtures, and I screamed and hollered and echoed my voice off the shoreline, and they turned around and ran by. Oopsie doodle. Well, that there is a fantastic failure because that was utter stupidity, but it didn't fail. In the cut, it failed because of the tool path. Uh, uh, that's obviously my fault. Fan fucking tastic. So some idiot hit the self-destruct button. Well, that's okay. Free, free underwears all the way around. Now, all we did was crack that old end mill, but she was working just a treat. So it does matter the recipe you use, and you can use the lowest grade of carbide with the wrong geometry, and still get through reasonably hard material. I'm stoked, man. I'm uh, uh, grinding, grinding up the learning curve, huh? Uh, right around here. This was the formula I used, 20% of the diameter, and I was only coming down axially one inch, and we were one and six tenths thou. I was using the uh, slotting routine, but you could even go more aggressive than that. That's, yeah, we... There's only one way to learn some of this stuff. Unfortunately, that was the last 20 millimeter, you know, 75 bucks a pop. We bought them for a special purpose, used them and had some spares. So I don't feel bad about testing them, especially, you know, sometimes when you're learning. In order to get this lopped off in the next video, we're gonna do two things. We're going to get rid of that fusion dog leg. I don't know why, yeah, anyway. It couldn't have been the operator. And we're also going to use a proper hard milling tool from a reputable source. Ought to have no problem at all getting through that. But we won't know until we know. Thanks for watching. Keep your dick in a voice.